This is an example of extreme salt damage to the lower branches of arborvitaes. In this video, we will show you how to plan your planting to avoid this kind of damage. Hello, my name is Mike and I'm from Highland Hill Farm. Today I want to tell you, talk to you about salt damage and how we can identify where salt will be present on your lawn. And right in front through here, you can see where a salt damage would be by looking at where the, the grit lands in your yard. As you look up, you can look up that way, you can notice that there is a hill that goes up and as the hill gets higher up, the salt damage will be closer to the road as compared to where the level surfaces of the road and the lawn are. So when you take a look at it, just walk through, try to find the cinders in the lawn and show you how far the salt can be thrown by the snowplow onto your lawn. And what kind of damage is sustained by salt damage on nursery stock? Uh, salt damage is uh, usually it's desiccation because when the salt hits the fronds, the water from the fronds is taken out of the fronds and then the fronds usually wilt and dust. And what is fronds? Fronds is an arborvitae term for the leaf and the greenery of the arborvitae. Okay, thank you very much. These are our three foot green giants. They're in a, a number five squat pot. And these are our four foot green giants in our squat pot. Now we call these a three to four foot because they'll be over three foot tall to the top, but less than four foot. And these will all measure about four foot to the top or slightly taller on the four footers. The green giant is placed about five to eight feet apart in straight rows and you can make a staggered row for a large property. For a smaller property you would only want to have one single row. A single row is the easiest way to maintain these trees. And if you're going to put in a large number, say like you know, you're up in northern Pennsylvania and you're going to put in a hundred of them on a large lot, we do recommend that you put in our drip water system which I will show you in a few seconds. But these trees can grow upwards to three feet a year with our drip water system. They're very fast, they're deer resistant, and wind resistant. The wind resistance comes from the fact, and the snow load resistance comes from the fact that the tree can be bent right over to the ground almost, and then it'll snap right back. And predominantly, if they have, if they have a double leader, you do want to trim one leader out, like this would be trimmed down, so that one leader takes forward and, and uh, takes control. But usually they don't split apart in the winter at all. The emerald green does split apart and is a uh, weaker tree that only grows to 10 to 15 feet. These could grow to 40 feet, but if you trim them, you can keep them probably around 25 feet for quite a long time. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. At Highland Hill Farm, we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill spruce, black spruce. We also have some firs such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees such as white pine, Norway spruce. We also sell a whole range of arborvitaes in many different sizes from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine, and we are noted for our green giant arborvitaes and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high, along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar. In the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums dogwoods, red, twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, Peking lilacs. We also have nanaberry, ninebark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide range of trees and shrubs, including winterberry holly. 
So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plan.